uh, is Lisa about? I can't seem to get her on the phone. No, she took an early shift at work. Right, if you see her, can you give her a message for me? Uh, I'm supposed to be meeting her later on, but I've got a cry off of, uh, I'm on cleaning duty. Eh? Home farm with Chrissy. Aren't you got people to do that? Cl cleaners? Well, the firm she usually went bust, and she's having the devil's own job finding another one, so guess who got roped in, eh? I'll see ya. Hiya. Yeah. Been leaving messages for you all over, but you haven't answered. Have you? Sorry. I'm not the full ticket at the moment. Are you mad with me? You should never have put Samson up to that. I never. Honest. I... Look, me and him, we'd had this row. And he thought you'd get your back by setting you and me up. Lovely. No, he was trying to do something nice. And he wrote it. I wanted to speak to you about something else. Kind of assumes I want to talk to you. Oh, sorry. Right. Never mind. What is it? Looking for a cleaner up at home farm. Oh. I, I know you wanted to grow your business, so I thought if I maybe got your job up there, you, you might forgive us for what happened yesterday with Samson. So I spoke to Chrissy and she wants to see you today. Oh. I don't suppose it can make matters much worse. Are you okay? Let me know what time. Well, you'll be pleased to know that Sam has been singing your praises. That's something, I suppose. So we'd like to offer you a trial starting as soon as possible. Great. Well, I'm glad you're so pleased. Um, do you have any questions you'd like to ask us? Just a couple of conditions. Conditions? You provide all cleaning materials and the bucket, although I will bring my own mop. Well, I'm sure we can figure something out. I only use environmentally friendly detergents. Ah, oh, good for you. I don't want anything I've cleaned to harm animals and... and birds. I'm pretty sure you won't be harming any birds. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing bringing those in here? I've been hanging them for your dad. He wants them for his tea. We'll take them through to the kitchen. Oh, Lydia. I'm sorry. It's just... Oh, Steve. Steve? <laughs> My best friend. Yeah, he's, er... Uh... Depressed. Not the only one by the looks of things. Was depressed. Steve died yesterday. <laughs> he is no more. Ceased to be. Oh! oh. oh. <gasps> Bob, can I get a latte to take away, please? Chrissy, I'm sorry for getting all emotional on you yesterday. It won't happen again. Well, that's all right. I was very sorry to hear about your loss. If you need any time off for the funeral, don't be afraid to ask. That's very kind. Thank you. But I've decided to have him stuffed. Really? The man on the phone says he can work wonders with the charred bits. Excuse me. Steve. Yeah, he meant everything to her. Is, is it legal to have him stuffed? Of course. Well, this way she still gets to see him every day. She's dead guilty, blames herself for what happened. Well, I'm sure his passing isn't her fault. Well, if you hadn't left the window open, he never would have got out on it, that electricity pile on, so... Poor man. Matt. Right, it were a bird. She loved that cockatoo, huh? Yeah. 